Hi, John here, and I'm going to show you a really easy way to find highly relevant expired domains that are free to register. And uh, I'll show you how to do that, check the backlinks on them. And this is a tactic that I talk a lot about at uh, uh, Authority Website Income, where I've been showing a case study and I'm starting a new one as well. And so this is a strategy that I'm going to be using along with some other successful case studies that uh, people have shared. So this is uh, to go along with the bigger article that I wrote over at Authority Website Income. So have a look and uh, I'll walk through the steps here in this video of exactly how I go about finding uh, expired domains. So first step is head over to expireddomains.net, set up a free account. Once you've set up uh, the free account, I'll uh, show you how to set up the uh, how to set up the search. So now I've, I've signed up, I have a free account. So I go in, I just type in domain search. I'm looking for an insurance site set up. So now I've got 2,369 domains that are available in some form to uh, to get. So I come in to the filters. I want minimum backlinks of one, minimum site results of one. You can play with this however you want. And I go over to additional filters, .com, .net, .org, .ca, and I only want free domains. I apply those filters. And now I'm down to 22 pages, so still a ton of domains, 544 domains. So I want to search by, sort by uh, the number of domains that are linking back to that root domain. So what this is, is it's got the domain, the number of um, characters in the domain, the page rank. So you can sort by page rank and find some PR3 domains right away. And then the way I like to check the domains is to go over and hit uh, the majestic SEO button but I'm going to stick with uh, doing the way that I normally search and recommend you do the search so you're looking for a balanced number of backlinks number of linking root domains and number of indexed Google pages so you don't want to see things like this the 2.6 thousand with one backlink and 200 all these it just it, the profile doesn't look right However, if you look down here for lines where we have we see balance, so like here this has shows some balance, so I want to investigate further. So I head over to Majestic SEO, which is a great tool, and then it will show me what it thinks of the link profile. And so it's saying here that it thinks based on the trust flow and citation flow that these are spammy links. And so I will uh, move on. I won't look at that site anymore. And you just come down here, have a look. And ideally, what I'd like to see, so this one's looking promising, what I'd like to see is this to be trust flow over 10, citation flow over 10. But this has 500 external backlinks, 104 linking root domains. And then you'd like to see this profile to be a little bit higher, but this isn't too bad. Um, by higher, I mean up up here. So this is the, num the amount of the citation flow of the backlink and the trust flow. So this is kind of the number of backlinks that that site's getting and the number and the page rank of that site. So it's showing a relatively natural um, profile. If I look down here, not as good. I mean, uh, this isn't a bad one though. I mean, it, it's not the best, but it's not bad. Let's have a look at some more here. Hmm. So again, this one's this one's okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> so I like to look down here at the anchor text, and it gives you a pretty good indication of whether or not that uh, expired domain is a uh, spam or not. Because you can see here that 72% is all an exact match keyword. That's clearly been an over SEO and it's probably been slapped around by a Panda 1 through 20 or Penguin 1 through 20, I should say. Um, so it's also a bonus. It shows here the Alexa rank. So if it has an Alexa rank, Alexa doesn't mean a ton, but if it has a rank, it probably means it has traffic. So those are always worth having a quick look at them and to see what kind of site. So this based on the spamminess of this backlink profile, I'm not going to consider that one. And 
although that one had potential traffic, it uh, had a really low um, majestic SEO score. And so does this one. So this Majestic SEO account I have is free, and so you can definitely just use the free account. Another great indicator is if it looks like it's um, really spammy exact match keywords over here, then it's usually a bad um, like you can kind of just tell, like insurance bonds guide, insurance company Alaska, those are all clearly exact match domains that probably don't have the same. Uh... Did I look at that one yet? That that probably just aren't as um, not as interested in those. This one's interesting. Yeah, so again, no, it's, this one's this one's interesting. It, it's low. It has really low trust flow. Though is the only problem. So when it's got a trust flow that low, and this profile that looks this flat, I I would rule it out. I, I'd like to see over ten trust flow and over ten citation flow. Trust flow is really the hardest thing to come by, though. So that's gone. Is that the same one? No, it's a different cheap SR. To, yeah, so this you can tell. And another great indicator is if you ever see any kind of porn pharmacy or pharmacy, uh, porn poker or pharmaceutical links down here, or foreign language links, it was clearly already picked up by uh, someone using it for SEO purposes. Yep, yeah, so that one's no good. Current insurance 411, no good. So I found several, but uh, the best one for sure seems to be this guy. Workers' compensation. I'll have a quick look at this because it's got so this one's looking. Uh, if it wasn't for the um, over optimization, it would be it would be better. And it's decent to go and check where it's linking from. So a couple of the pages. So that's dead. So that's unrelated. This one's not terrible, but not definitely not good. I'll see if there's any other ones that jump out at me here. So what I'm doing is just scanning down here for looking for some balance. Having a little bit of pain drink never hurts. And then the other great thing to do is to search through here and look at the ones that look kind of more natural I guess I would say that it probably has not made the site has been made for the sole purpose of ranking in Google those usually have the better uh, backlink profiles This guy's not too bad. Oh. So not great, but not, not bad. So probably these links aren't worth a whole lot. 
But overall, I've got a few sites now that are. And that one's, that one's okay. So I think one of the best ones here is still swiftcoverinsurance.net. So the final check that I like to do is head over to archive.org, enter it in, and then just take a quick look. So it's got relevant content. I don't reuse the content. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, use this guy. And then these other ones, I'm undecided on. I'll have to do some more digging. But there you go. In 10 minutes, I created, I uh, found several free to register expired domains with backlinks that are highly relevant that have some varying degrees of natural to unnatural link profiles.